This is a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Excel to look at correlation between two variables. Um, this data set is linked in the description below, so you can download it, open up in your Excel. I'm using Excel 2016 on a Mac, so if yours looks different, it's because you're using a different version. If you get lost, a little Googling should get you back on track. So in the sheet under correlation, we're looking at a correlation or a possible correlation between temperature, this is outdoor temperature, and uh, ice cream sales. So how much money we're making selling ice cream on any given day. Be interesting to find out if there's a correlation, right? So um, I think the easiest way to do that is to highlight your data and we're gonna insert a scatter plot. Make sure you don't do a line graph, this is a scatter plot. And I don't want any lines on it. Just a straight up scatter plot. Let's make that a little bigger. And I'm going to change my text size here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so these are my data points. If I select any one data point and I see that they're all highlighted, I can right click and add a trend line. So this not only puts my trend line in, it also opens my option option bar for trend lines. And there's a couple important options on here. Um, first of all, we want to do a linear regression. Uh, if we expect this data to be linear, now when you get into physics and chemistry, there are some, um, some things that are you're going to need to know whether that's exponential or logarithmic, depending on what you're measuring. In this case, we're just looking for a linear regression. And I want to display the equation of that line and the R squared value on the chart. Okay, so you can see that the R squared value is 0.916, so pretty high, strong, positive correlation here. Positive because the slope is positive. As we go up in temperature, we're increasing our ice cream sales. Um, so I'm not done with this yet. I'm going to scale my axes. see here. I want to here we go. I want to change my minimum to 10 degrees so I don't have so much white space. And similarly on this axis, I want to change the vertical axis so it starts at 100 degrees or 100 dollars in this case. And that just fills in my graph a little better. And then I need to make sure I don't forget to add my axis titles. So I'm going to go into chart design, add chart element, axis titles. So my horizontal axis, this is temperature. And it's plus or minus. 0 0.1 degrees centigrade. And add my axis title for the vertical axis. This is ice cream, ice cream sales, sales, and that's plus or minus $1. And then I need to give it some sort of meaningful title. Let's say correlation between outdoor temperature and ice cream sales. So I've got my graphic that I can insert into my report. I have my axes correctly labeled, I have a meaningful title, and I've got the equation and the R-squared value that are going to be important to talk about in the discussion. Now, another way to do this if you don't want to or don't need to make a scatter plot is to select two, row, uh, two columns and three rows, 
go to the function bar, I'm going to type in is equal to line estimate, so L-I-N-E-S-T, open parentheses. And it asks for the known Y's, in this case Y is my ice cream sales, semicolon known X's. And then I put two semicolons, and stats is true. And then I close that parentheses. Now I don't hit enter, because then I only get one value. I want a few different values here, so I'm going to, on a Mac, it's shift command enter, and on Windows, it's shift control enter. Shift command enter, and that fills in six different values. This value, is the slope. You see that corresponds to our slope in this equation. This is the y-intercept. And down here is the r-squared. So if, uh, if you don't want to bother creating a scatter plot, this is another way to do the same thing, to get at those three main values that we need. So with these two, I can describe the linear equation and um, have my r-squared value for that linear equation. Now keep in mind this only works for, this is a linear estimate, so if you're doing exponential or logarithmic um, trend lines, then this is, this is not the right equation for you. So that's how you can calculate r-squared and find your uh, linear trend line in Excel. Now keep in mind, when you're evaluating this data, you need to be really clear about what you can say about this. There is a correlation between ice cream sales and temperature. And you can talk about why that might be, um, but it's, it's not safe to say that temperature causes ice cream sales to increase. Okay, That's, uh, These are observational data. Obviously, we're just measuring temperatures on certain days and finding out how much, how much ice cream sales are coming in. So, um, there may be a number of factors that are influencing each of these. Um, what we can say is that they, they tend to go together, so they tend to correlate. And why that may be or what the mechanism of that is, uh, you'd have to do experiments on. So just be careful when you're interpreting correlation that that is not the same thing as causation.